Hello guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. In the ocean of the new Intel Skylake Z170 chipset based motherboards, most of you are probably looking for a reasonable purchase along the line of the best value for money and the new Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 3 model leans on being just that. Just like all other motherboard manufacturers, Gigabyte also went with a complete redesign of their product boxes with the Z170 chipset, keeping the G1 gaming branding on it. The Gaming 3 model jumps out with its front side on which you can see a big World of Tanks logo and a promotion for the game, so to speak, in conjunction with Gigabyte which is offering bonus code and additional invite code for the World of Tanks rollout game in this model's bundle. Speaking of the bundle, depending on where you live, you'll probably encounter different types of bundle, as this one with World of Tanks promotion is meant for the European market, while the one for the global market has some kind of promotional bundle for the Heroes of the Storm game. Backside of the box is all about motherboard and its features, which are plenty of, starting with the USB 3.1 support, enhanced audio and networking circuitry, and a usual detailed overview of the technical specifications for this model. Opening up the box underneath the motherboard, you'll find all accessories of the bundle, like four SATA cables from the 90s, two-way SLI bridge, IO shield and front panel header adapter for easier access. Of course, all the user manuals, marketing material, and that code that we mentioned for the World of Tanks rollout game. And here is the motherboard itself. As you can notice right away, Gigabyte also continued on with the design changes on the motherboard itself, starting off with the heatsink for the chipset, which has World of Tanks rollout logo on it, heatsink for the power regulation circuitry, and all the way to the chromed and pimped out PCI Express X16 slots. The overall color theme is mostly black and red, with dark brownish PCB coming in between of that. Coming back to the component layout and PCI Express slots, for them you'll find three physical X16 3.0 slots capable of three-way AMD Crossfire or two-way NVIDIA SLI. In between them you can see three PCI Express X1 3.0 slots and also two slots for M.2 modules for up to 80mm of length. The rest of the layout is pretty standard for a Z170 chipset based motherboard with 6 SATA 3 ports making a total of 3 SATA Express ports, 2 USB 3 headers placed right next to the 24 pin ATX power connector, while the second main power connector, the 8 pin EPS one, is placed in the left top corner. Also, just like the most of the Z170 chipset based motherboard, the Gigabyte's Gaming 3 model supports newest generation of DDR4 RAM, up to 64GB of it and speeds of 3466MHz when overclocked. Speaking of overclocking, the motherboard is equipped with a 7 phase power regulation, which together with the Gigabyte's Turbo B Clock dedicated tuning IC for more precise traps will get you some decent overclocking results. Moving further around the motherboard, you'll come across some usual parts like fan headers, 5 of them in total, bottom TPM com and front panel headers, dedicated audio circuitry, which has higher quality grade audio components like Nishikan caps, together with an upgradable op amp and ALC 1150 audio codec, which provides 10 deck channels. Coming to the back side of the motherboard so we can take a better look at the IO connections, here you'll find a combo PS2 connector, two USB 2 DAC up ports, DVI-D, VGA and HDMI video outputs, USB 3.1 Type-C connector and right next to it also USB 3.1 but Type-A connector, three USB 3 ports, set of usual 7.1 channel audio circuitry with analog and digital inputs and outputs, and a gigabit LAN connection which is operated by the dedicated Qualcomm Atheros Killer E2200 gaming network adapter. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 3 motherboard. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.